Hello, today I will uh, show you what to do with uh, your GPX files that you have uh, previously generated uh, with uh, your iPhone and the uh, obvious idea application named uh, GPS Stone. So actually we will start by uh, uh, retrieving, uh, saving the GPA, GPX file uh, to your computer. So uh, with the latest version of um, uh, GPX, GPS Stone, uh, you can um, retrieve the file directly using iTunes. So for example, you go, you select your phone from iTunes, you go, you select your phone, you click on app on top, and then here you will see a section GPS Stone with all your recording, with the date of uh, the beginning of the recording, and uh, from here you can select the file and save them to a local folder. So actually I already uh, stored the file. So the tricky part is you need to select a folder, not the name of the file. So you can select several track uh, tracking uh, session and save it directly to GPS tracking which is a, a folder that I did in the past so it was for the part and you see I can replace it so that's the part to have them on your uh, computer now uh, what to do with the files to see where you have been and so on you can use Google Earth which is uh, pretty popular, which is, uh, let's say, the advanced version of uh, Google Maps. And uh, there is a trick here because you can say open, file, open. But here, by default, you will not see the files because you need to change the filter to the GPS or to the all file. So with this change of extension, then you can see exactly uh, what you have done. Um, so here um, we have more files, so I will locate this one. Uh, honestly, I don't know exactly what are these options. We don't care because we just want to see uh, the tracking. So I accepted and I'm going to the map and I see exactly where I have been and when I was and at which location. So actually it's like uh, Google Earth. The purpose is uh, uh, ever to track where and how long you have been in a section, but also to be able to um, just um, uh, attach the position of your picture on the map because as we know where you have been, we can uh, put the GPS coordinates in uh, the photo. So there is a tool here, you see, to limit the section. So we can remove it and see exactly. But I don't see exactly what is the, the way to know what was my position without uh, changing the, the exact content. So I have here some information about the date, but uh, let's say it's not very clear, but at least it's a very popular solution. So now I will change and I will show you another application, uh, which may be a little bit more convenient and uh, it's also from uh, obvious idea. So let's close this. And it's Atom GPS. And this application is both to see the tracking, but also to make and put the coordinates of your picture. So open Atom GPS from Obvious ID. You will have the link in the post. And here you have two choices. Import GPS data is for the hardware. So it's when you have a special device. But here we have already the file. So you can just click on Open Itineraries and select the file. I think it was this one to select exactly the same. And here 
you have uh, the import. So you just click. So for example, we have some overview information, 14, about 14 hours of travel and for a distance of 400 kilometers. When you double click on it, you will have exactly the same things. So we see it's exactly the same uh, shape. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, I think we can also change uh, the map um, the map view. Yes, so satellite, hybrid, or anything. I will state, let it in a, a stop view. And here we have also a timeline. The difference is we know a little bit more easily uh, what was our position. So we can see moving the timeline what was the track exactly because of the shape I go there then I come back then I take the opposite going down doing the same road again and coming back to my start point and here you have also some tools so we can split the itinerary so you can remove a part of the travel you can simplify you can also export um, so one point is for sure not a good thing but if you want to reduce the size uh, you can do that and you can output you can save uh, in different output formats so it can be a little bit more convenient for, uh, for you maybe mammoth we have also integrated church so it's exactly this uh, except it's not Mammoth Spring. Okay. Well, bad luck. But um, you see the the overall purpose of the of the tool. And in this application, we can also do some photo tagging. So I will not show this in this uh, application. And also we can import several one. So you can see the different trip in a single view, which is more interesting than the other software than I know for now. Here, second trip. So actually it was the same, sorry about that. Yeah, I can delete with the right click and add another one. So it was the day after from Yellowstone to Salt Lake City. So don't hesitate to email me if you have any question, uh, I will be more uh, than happy to help. Thank you.